Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna have a very quick look on how to complete the brand new quest in old school runescape called Temple of the Eye. Um, it is a very easy quest to complete. The only items you're gonna need is bucket of water uh, and you can also bring a pickaxe of your choice if you would like but you can also pick it from the floor in the game and I recommend you to have a ring of dueling and a teleport to Varrock. That is literally all you're going to need. So in order to start the quest let's just go ahead and make our way to Alcarid, okay? It is located right next to Lumbridge, uh, right above this little pond, and we're gonna speak to Wizard Perstin right here. And we're just gonna hold spacebar throughout this quest, and we're gonna click option number two, and then we're gonna hold spacebar, and we're gonna click option number one after that. So that's gonna basically start the quest for us, and then we are going to just speed run through the quest. If you're interested in the lore, I recommend you to not hold spacebar and just read through it slowly if you'd like. Uh, but this is going to be um, doing it as fast as possible. So we're going to click option number one here. And this is going to start the quest for us. So when this conversation is over, you should leave with an uh, amulet in your inventory. So let's wait for that. And as soon as you're going to have the Ami, we're basically the next step is going to be to teleport to Varrock. So there's the amulet, we're going to teleport to Varrock. If you do not have your bucket, oh, well, that's just awkward, it is what it is, I'm going to do a little bit of extra running. If you do not have a bucket or bucket of water, you can just grab some coins and buy it from the general store and then fill it in the Varrock center. Um, if you already have it, that's perfectly fine as well. So from here, we're going to make our way to southeastern part of Varrock to speak to Zami Mage. And uh, yeah, that's basically what our next step is. Uh, I actually didn't know that this account had the teleport to Grand Exchange instead of Varrock, but that's fine. Just uh, lose uh, like 10, 10 seconds there probably. And um, after we speak to the Zami wizard here, we're going to be choosing option number one and then option number three. But let's quickly get into it here. So speak to Mage of Zami. Hold your spacebar, option number one. Uh, we need his help with our amulet. And we're gonna hold spacebar here and then we're gonna select option number three. That's also gonna end the conversation. So he wants us to obtain a strong tea and we're just gonna say, I'll be back soon. And now we're just gonna run a little bit north to the tea cellar and we're gonna speak to him and then we're gonna choose option number three as well. So tea cellar is located right over here next to the tea stall. We're gonna speak to him, say option number three. And we're gonna be obtained, like we're gonna obtain a um, strong cup of tea. Beautiful. So now we're gonna run back south towards the Zamorak mage. And we're gonna choose option number one and then option number one again. What that's gonna do is that is going to teleport us to Abyss. Um, and we don't need to enter the wilderness for that. So that's pretty solid. So hold our space bar here and option number one again. Okay, so this is going to be the first little minigame that's unique to everyone, but it's super easy to follow. Let's speak to Dark Mage first, though. And we're going to select option number three. And here is where it's pretty helpful if you have a notepad next to you that you can write down. Because uh, here is where we're going to have a first puzzle. There's another puzzle later on, but the, the, the answer is super simple. So, this is just a testing puzzle. So, you test if it works. Um, and you test on all little circles, okay? And it's just a combination follow-up. So my first one was green. This is going to be unique for everyone. And I'm just going to write down green. And then I'm just going to go in circular ways. So I know that it's not going to be green and red. So it's going to be maybe green and yellow. Also, no, maybe green and uh, brown. And it's just a testing minigame. Super simple to follow. It's not. Let's see if it's uh, green and uh, blue. No. So it's going to be green into death. And then let's try blue, right? Perfect. So green, death, blue. And then we're just going to keep going in the circle. Nope. So it's going to be green, death, blue. And then I'm going to try cosmic. So this is going to be unique for everyone, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's cosmic next. Cosmic. And now we're going to go for earth. Yep, perfect. And then lastly, we're left with fire. And after this is completed, you're gonna speak to the mage. 
and he should give you the incantations. So abyssal incantations should be in your inventory. As soon as this is done, you can quickly click Temple of the Eye to make sure that you are out on the step where you need to go to Al Karid. I recommend you to rub your dueling ring and just teleport to Al Karid Duel Arena here. And we are gonna run back to the quest start right here. Um, once again, we're gonna speak to Wizard Perstein and we're gonna select option number one. And this is going to be a one-time teleport to the Wizards Guild. And uh, from there we have a couple of uh, extra steps we gotta do. So once again we're holding spacebar, you will lose your amulet here. And we keep holding it. And we're gonna select option number one and he's gonna teleport us away. Now the first place we're gonna go to is we're gonna go downstairs. And I can't believe this account has roofs unhidden. So climb downstairs here into the northwestern corner of the Wizards Guild. Go a little bit south and speak to the Archmage Cedridor next. We're gonna select option number two first. Then after that option number three. Option number three here. And after that, we're just going to go ahead and end the conversa conversation by saying thanks for the information. From here, we're going to go upstairs. The next step we got to speak to is Wizard Trayborn. So we go upstairs once, upstairs twice. And we're going to speak to Wizard Trayborn right over here and select option number two. So now we're going to need uh, assistance from apprentices. After this conversation is over, we will speak to each one of the apprentices and just hold spacebar. Each have little unique steps, uh, but the answer is already known. The answer is going to be 11, but more on that in a bit. So we speak to this one first until the thingy pops up. Then we speak to Felix until uh, the big thingy pops up again. And then we speak to Card Cardelia until the thingy pops up again. After that, speak back to Wizard Trayborn and say option number two. I think I know what Tingumingwit is. And then he's gonna say, and here you just write 11. Okay, and that's gonna be your answer. Perfect, and from here, Trayborn throws some fireworks. There's a mad party going on, sick. And now we're just gonna climb downstairs. And downstairs again. And once again, we're going to speak to Treyborn or Perstein or Cedrid or one of these guys. We're going to select option number one as soon as we are able to. Let's do it. And this is going to be your first cutscene. Okay, so here I recommend you to just hold spacebar, enjoy your cutscene. The next step is going to be... We're just going to speak to each one of the little wizards in the new place that we get put in. And uh, one is located at the very entrance, one is located west, and one is located north. You need to speak to all of those before, and then you speak to the wizard in the middle. But just follow my lead after the cutscene is over. So I'm still holding a spacebar here. We have Perstine, Cardelia, Felix, and Tamara here. And obviously the next part of this quest is just going to be teaching you about the new runecrafting minigame. Which is probably going to be a pretty solid way to train runecrafting. Uh, at least it's going to be, you know, a little different. So here you're going to have all these little altars. And I might make a follow-up video on a guide on the minigame if you guys are interested in that. But anyways, the cutscene is over and let's first speak to Felix, located just a little bit north of us. And we're once again holding spacebar. From here, we're going to go west and we're going to speak to Apprentice Tamara. I'm just here a little bit northwest from the first one. And once again, we're going to hold spacebar and then we're going to run all the way north and we're going to speak to... Um, this person right here called Cardelia and this place is absolutely stunning. So after you speak to all of these you're gonna go back to Wizard Perstein and uh, We're gonna have a conversation with him very quickly. So another cutscene. This is gonna basically teach you all about the minigame from here on And right now we're gonna basically just be following um, orders. This is a cool um Mysterious Stone. I think it's um, if you play RS3, you will know about the lore. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but uh, it's a it's an egg of some sorts. That's all I'm gonna say. Or is it stone? I don't really know. Either an egg or a stone. Uh, it's it's uh, it follows kind of a RS3 lore a little bit, which is kind of nice to see. It's been a long time since I played the RS3, so I don't really remember the lore fully. 
but once again we're holding spacebar and from here as I said a few times already it's all about just learning about the minigame I'm gonna use this moment if you are an avid watcher of the channel um, to apologize a little bit for not uploading over the last two months really I uh, have been going through a lot of personal problems, but we're slowly going to get back into, you know, creating videos. And I have been creating videos on my second channel quite a lot, but it is not RuneScape related. So just as a side note, if anyone is interested in what I do outside of RuneScape, you know, check out my second channel maybe. But anyways, let's continue on with the quest. Nice little self-promotion there. Oh shit, you might as well sub as well, just, just, you know, if you want to. Let's go south and speak to Felix. From here, even if you're uh, very bad at the game, you'll be able to follow everything you gotta do. Also, pick up chisel. Right here on the floor is the chisel and the pickaxe in case you don't have it. And from here, you're literally only following a little, um, what's it called? A little marker on screen. It shows you exactly where to click and what to do. So we're picking up this weak cell. We're gonna speak to Tamara next. And now we're gonna place the cell. That's gonna create a little barrier. Perfect. Now we're gonna go back here and speak to Felix. And this is going to block the little abyssal creatures to actually reach the Guardian. After speaking to Felix and grabbing more weak cells, we're now going to grab this, uh, assemble these essence piles. And that's going to give us a little bit of XP as well. Very cool. Take more weak cells. And create more essence piles. I mean, assemble more of the essence piles here. So these little Guardians... Um, yeah, are just kind of patrolling around. I still don't fully understand the minigame, so this is literally just a quest guide. Once I do know a little bit more, I'll, uh, I'll let everyone know. Uh, let's speak back to Tamara here. And yeah, do this at your own pace if you'd like to, you know, enjoy the lore a little bit. Now we're gonna mine this Guardian Remains. This is how we're gonna get some of the essences. Or Guardian Fragments, rather, and then we'll turn those into Essences, if I remember correctly. I have done this quest already on the main, before starting recording on the Iron Man. Just so I have all the options ready for you guys to be able to easily follow this guide. Now we're speaking to Felix, then we're working at this bench. This gives us the Essences. And now we're gonna go up again, north, and speak to Tamara here. Cool, cool. Going back south and getting more cells now. And after we have that, we're now gonna enter the Guardian of Mind. You see the one that's circulating around? We're now gonna craft some runes. Make our way back. And we're gonna speak to Tamara again. And now we're gonna place the cell down here. See, that heals it a little bit to make sure the Guardian is chilling and that gives us nice XP. Then we speak back to Tamara and uh, we once again need to get more essences. And you see now the water one is glowing. So that's the one we're gonna go to next. And I think that's how the minigame is gonna play. You're gonna get a bunch of essences, go to the one that's glowing, rinse and repeat. Um, probably very enjoyable way to train runecrafting, honestly. And you get nice little rewards from it. So boom, we get essences, we take the cell, and we go into the water one next. And once again, we're going to craft it right over here. And we're going to make our way back. And now we have these little portal talismans as well, that we can use to boom power up this guy. We'll basically be using those to teleport back, if I remember correctly, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it. Now we're gonna assemble these piles again, because I guess they can be assembled. Bada beam, bada boom. And at this point we're very close to finishing the quest. Cool, and now we're making our way north again. So this looks to be about 15 to 20 minute quest, so not too long. Lots of cutscenes, lots of little steps to follow, but it also teaches you the minigame. So I think it is uh, pretty honestly pretty nice. And we're gonna mine it here now. Once again, five. Work at the bench to make them into essences. Is it essences or essence? If it's plural, I'm not sure. We're gonna take this and see. Now it's not uh, 
doing anything, but we can use this portal to go through. So use this, go through, and this time it uses it. I don't really know why it is that way, but I guess that's how it is. I'm not gonna question it. Probably gonna make more sense once I play more minigame. Speak to Tamara here. Oh, pardon. Place the cell. And then speak to Tamara right after. Power up the rift. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we have now another cutscene. And that should be the quest pretty much completed. Um, as always, I do these quests on the release day as fast as I possibly can, but also make them as followable as possible. So if you made it this far, if I helped you complete the quest, leave me a comment, maybe leave me a like, consider subscribing as well. I post RuneScape only on this channel. But the rewards you're going to get right here are going to be, uh, obviously, the ability to play the minigame, right? And let's hold the spacebar. And we also get 5,000 room crafting XP and obviously the access to the Temple of Abyss. If you enter this portal, you can now play the minigame. So congratulations, um, hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys around with more RuneScape content and uh, have a beautiful day, I guess. See you around and bye-bye.